I think I have been misunderstood um, in early times when I first started to exhibit this work of, oh, anything goes, you know, no boundaries. Um, yeah, she's just doing whatever. It's actually the opposite. I'm very, very selective. Every, each thing I choose, um, I, it's not uptight in any way, but it has to resonate in some way, whether it's uh, even if about, about a form or a colour or if it's about a, an idea I've been working on or an idea I have for, I don't know, five years ago worked on and I can see a new way of translating that idea and that material, um, then I'll grab it. I'm very, very interested in um, odd forms, very recognisable. Um, they have to have a sort of a twist or an inter something interesting about them that makes sense to me um, and that will become a piece of jewellery and the, the foot shape um, fitted all those sort of categories really. I'm always interested in this tension between an oddness and beauty and my interpretation of what something beautiful is. It's about creating something that has attention to it. Um, it. There could be lots of questions involved in the object, in the piece, that where you don't really know what you're looking at. You can't, you can't stick it somewhere, you can't put it into a box. All these um, issues are what I'm looking for in a piece, and I know once I've made it, um, once I've made the piece, that it, it, it holds all that within it. I've exhibited a lot all around the world, and I, and I think especially with the internet too, I, I pretty much know what's going on everywhere, and I can really use that information to my, to my, to, as an influence. Now and again I'll make a piece and I think, mm, I think, I think, because I, I can never really be sure, but I think this is, this could be something new for contemporary jewellery. To use glue, that is the total taboo, taboo material. And so for me to then get glue and sort of squeeze it out and celebrate it, that began quite um, unconsciously. I'd be making pieces, fiddling around with all these the, the, the new materials I was starting to use, and a few drops would, would spill onto my table, and they would harden, and so I'd just flick them off, as, because that was just a material that was there. So I'd flick them off, and they would start to become incorporated into pieces. I realised a long time ago, this is it for life, which is quite a bizarre thing to think when you're not that old. But this way of working is, will keep, will, I know it, will keep me interested for life, that's it. This was a rare time where I've made a piece with a person in mind and an event in mind. I made for a friend who was getting married. I thought, okay, I must make, I want to make her a piece to wear to, for her wedding. I curved it, I made it, and instantly I could see that this works. There was no more to do. And I very much work like that now. Everything seeps into what I do, whether it's people's work or um, something I've read, uh, whatever, something I see, something I hear. This is how my work exists, basically.